Okay. So my key takeaway from what I heard is you really need to optimize your Google Merchant Center contents, right? Yes. So let's talk about that uh, a little bit. What is the best way to optimize that? Where, because on Amazon, you're looking at Helium 10 and others and, and you get the search volumes and things. So what is the best way to do that with Google, Google Merchant Center? Yeah, it, it will be at the product title, product description, and product image levels. Um, and also just broadly making sure that you're filling in all of those feed attributes. So other feed attributes you have in Google Merchant Center, in addition to title, feed, and image, you have to upload the sizing, the colorways, the category of your product. I've came onto accounts, big accounts, where it's just totally mismanaged. They, they're not filling in those properties. They, don't, they haven't filled in the colorways. These, all these feed attributes, that's kind of like an Excel chart that you fill in. They haven't filled in their locations that they're serving. There's a lot of things sometimes that's empty. So the first step is making sure you filled in all of those. If you search, for example, like Google feed product template, you'll see all the attributes that you have to fill in. Um, but at the product title and description level, which are the most important, I'd start with doing keyword research, just like you would do for Amazon PPC, uh, and start to find themes between those keywords that you'd want someone to search for to find your business or your products. So once you do that keyword research, you'll find themes or patterns between them, um, either phrases or single words. Incorporate those themes into your product titles and descriptions so they match the search that someone's coming in for. Um, that is like the single biggest recommendation with, with shopping um, on the feed level. Outside of that, once you get a bit more data, it's important to segment out and have a really healthy campaign structure. So like with Amazon PPC, where you can choose to structure it by product category, by search theme, by automatic or manual bid, it's important to do that same level of campaign and ad group structuring within Google Ads to make it very efficient. So when you are picking these keywords in your research, what is the criteria you're looking at? Again, same as Amazon search volumes and things like that. I'm usually using um, either SEMrush, SEMrush, which is a, a SEO, SEM tool, or just the Google Keyword Planner. Um, you can basically upload some source keywords, and then they'll generate for you uh, a list of keyword ideas that you can sort through and filter. Um, those two are, are kind of what I'm using um, to uh, get my, my core list of keywords or my, my larger list. I'll then filter that down into a core list of keywords. For that, I'll use things like I'll usually create some type of formula where I'll say, you know, only look at keywords that are greater than two words. Usually I don't like bidding on single word keywords. It's just too broad. So I'll yeah. look at keywords that are two to maybe five words long, more longer, medium to longer tail terms. Uh, and then from there, I'll drill down by search volume. And it also will give me an estimate for CPC. So to make sure, you know, I don't, if, if, the, if the cohort of keyword has an average CPC of $2, and there are a few of them that are $11, I'll probably just exclude those because it's not worth spending three times the budget on, on that type of keyword. And what is the kind of search volume that you, you're going after? Because we always say, if you find something yeah. 100,000, 200,000, just don't bother, you're gonna get lost in it. So what is the right number to aim for? I would agree with that. Um, uh, on Google, they give it to you an exact match monthly searches. So, you know, there are some heuristics where you can multiply your exact match by maybe two to four to get the phrase match volume and, you know, five to seven or even 10 to get the broad match. So in other words, if it gives you an exact match search for like, uh, you know, wooden bookcase and the exact match is maybe 5,000 searches, you can estimate the phrase match could be five to seven times that amount and the broad match even more. So um, there are some calculations that, and it sometimes depends on the keyword. Honestly, the, those exact match volumes it gives you are directional. So, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm not using anything that's below like a hundred monthly search volume that, that, that'll be a bit too low. I'd say the sweet spot is in that kind of high a hundred or low a thousand range. Once you get higher than 10,000, yeah, it would become difficult. So a thousand to hundred thousand. 
yeah, I'd say a thousand to like ten thousand. Once you get above like ten thousand monthly searches, it becomes a bit more. Okay. And, and that's ten thousand monthly searches for exact match. That's exact match. That's right. Yeah. All right. Good. So.